So I just added eight new levels to my backrooms game, but these aren't just any regular levels because these are something even scarier called sub levels. Now you might be wondering, why are sub levels scarier than normal levels? And it's because if a level is so liminal and scary that they're worth having sub levels made out of them, then you can imagine how absolutely terrifying those sub levels are going to be. So the first sub level I'm going to add is level 37.2 also known as the Dark Pool Rooms, which is a pool complex that looks like the pool rooms but with much dimmer lights and darker tiles. So I blocked out the level and then added these dark textures, murky green water and adjusted the lighting to make it look scary and then added so many different areas scattered around like these secret tunnels you can swim through, diving boards and slides, and even giant mushrooms, which I'm not even sure how they ended up in the back rooms. Now unlike the pool rooms where your only danger is accidentally falling down a hole, level 37.2 contains entities called Hydrolytus Plague, which is a deadly bacteria found in water that's more common in abandoned pools and is thought to be caused by fecal matter. So it turns out that these warm sunny pools that we love to chill inside of is actually where all the entities go to the bathroom. So I made a particle system with bacteria floating around and scattered them throughout the level and according to the wiki, symptoms of the Hydrolytus Plague infection appear only seconds after exposure and include a high fever and severe pain and unfortunately, there's no cure for it. So in order to get through the Hydrolytus Plague safely, you'll need to find a raft and paddle over it with all your teammates, but be sure to pay attention so that you don't accidentally fall off the edge of a giant waterfall. <laughs> It don't. It don't go down. Robert, it goes down. No, it don't. It do go down. Oh! Stop, stop. So the next sub-level I'm gonna add is level exclamation mark dash exclamation mark, which is a sub-level of level run for your life and resembles a long vast hotel hallway consisting of flashing red lights, alarms, and doors. The level also contains something called the blue hallways, which are safe areas with blue lights and walls throughout the level that players can group up and restore their sanity in. So I blocked out this giant level and then added these hotel hallways, lobbies, staircases and other areas throughout the map and then added these blue hallways that'll restore your sanity and are fully safe from entities. So if you have a choice between running into these two hallways, be sure to make the right choice or you probably won't have a very fun time. Now this level contains a brand new entity known as clumps, which are creatures that appear to be a clump of various unproportional limbs connected to a strangely shaped body that spend most of their time inhabiting dark rooms in... Wait, why does this sound like a perfect description of me? Now I like to think that I'm a completely serious professional game developer, so instead of using a boring old model for it, I'd use an advanced tentacle system to create fully dynamic limbs that can wrap around players and uh, yeah, it didn't really turn out the way I thought it would. So I got this amazing model from my friend Brian and threw it into the game and made it chase you through the hallway, so make sure you avoid all the obstacles so you have enough time to outrun it if you happen to make the wrong turn. So the next entity I'm going to add are party hosts, which are huge gelatinous monsters that appear to be made out of cake with a human-like eye in the middle. They're immobile and are usually seen stuck to surfaces, including ceilings. So I got this model of a cake with an eye in the middle and added them around level fun plus and made them constantly stare at you when you're nearby. Now in order to make them stop staring at you so you can get through the level, you need to do the exact same thing that you would in real life if someone is aggressively staring at you, which is to light a firework and throw it at them. Now it might seem way too easy to throw a firework at a cake, but it turns out that according to lore, party hosts are actually the leaders of the party goers, which is kinda weird because it's literally just a cake glued onto a wall, but you'll need to constantly avoid party goers while trying to throw fireworks. Oh, and also make sure to actually hit the party host because otherwise your firework might just bounce backwards at you. So before I add the next level, which is one of the most important levels in the entire Backrooms lore, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe or you'll no clip in your sleep. And if you guys still haven't gotten the game and want to try it out, it's called Escape the Backrooms. And the most popular search on my channel is what is Fancy's Backrooms game called, so make sure to double check the name before you accidentally jump into the wrong game. So the next level I'm going to add is level 52, which is a school hallway around 100 miles long that has lockers on both sides. So I modeled out the school hallway and then added classrooms, cafeterias, and other areas throughout the map. Now in case you didn't watch my last video, level 52 is where the fun war happened, 
which is when party poopers got into some beef with party goers and started an entire war with each other. And as much as we all wish the party poopers won, unfortunately, party goers wiped out their entire species. So make sure you're extremely careful in this level so that the party goers don't spot you. And if you see any party poopers that survived the war, it's probably a good idea to follow them. So the next level I'm gonna add is level 188 because this level was the most requested level ever, but when I added it to the game, it didn't really get a good response. What the f*** is this? Why is it only one room? I hate this, I'm uninstalling the game. Now the reason is that when I first made this level, it was actually all one big level and had hallways that looked like this, but later on I thought it looked way too boring, so I changed everything to look like level 0.11, which is why you only get one achievement for beating both levels. But I feel kind of bad because I should have been more clear about it and I know I upset a lot of you guys so I decided to expand it and turned it into a massive hotel and added rooms, hallways, and other areas throughout the level. And while it may seem pretty tempting to explore, you probably shouldn't because this level is a class 5 danger level and contains entities called windows, which are shadow like figures that have been spotted behind windows, motioning for one to enter the room. Rooms correlating to these fake windows should be avoided at all costs. So I added these entities that'll randomly spawn behind some of the windows and once a player walks into the room it's in, it'll try to convince them to get close enough to grab them. Hey can you let me in? It's really cold out here. Now this wouldn't be a class 5 danger level if the only danger is walking too close to a window, so I'm gonna add another entity called Arena Memories, which are large spider-like entities that are extremely fast and hostile and are known to pursue and attack humans on site. Now this entity was made by someone named Frag2 who has a lot of amazing videos about it on their channel so be sure to definitely check them out. So I got this model and then made them crawl out of vents once you're nearby and chase you around the map. Now arena memories can run up to 60 miles per hour, which is the same speed that cars drive on highways. Just imagine driving in a car and turning around and just seeing a giant spider going the same speed as you. So make sure you run into a room as soon as you see them running towards you or it'll be too late. And also watch out to not run right into the windows. Help! Now I know a lot of you guys want me to keep on adding more new levels and new entities, but I think for the next update I should definitely focus on adding things like better models and cutscenes and replayability, which I know I was supposed to add in this update, but I got way too carried away with adding new content and didn't want to make you guys wait any longer for me to finish them. Which, by the way, if you haven't noticed, the update is out right now, so be sure to check it out. And I know a lot of the new levels are just expansions to existing levels and might seem lazy, but it would only take like 5 extra minutes to change the textures to turn the pool rooms into the sewers, or level dash into level negative 1, or level fun into level 974, or level 188 into level 11. But I wanted the most iconic backrooms levels to really leave a mark in this game and not just take 2 minutes to beat. And for everyone who wants to play but doesn't have a PC, I'm going to be adding console support for it really soon. So if you're excited for that, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss my next video. Because in one of them, I'm going to add something that I've been keeping a secret from you guys that'll guarantee this game has tons of replayability. And it's...